What's up everyone? Today we're going to be transforming the dreaded laminate IKEA Calux into a beautiful cabinet with woven cane doors. Only we're not going to be using cane what? because cane is really expensive to buy where I live and it's also really difficult to find. So instead we're going to be using good old burlap. Burlap is typically associated with let's just say rustic styles which is not really me but it turns out that burlap actually has a weave that is pretty much identical to the kind of cane webbing that I had my heart set on for this project which is called radio weave. We're gonna try and make this work instead because it's cheaper and it has pretty much the same look that we're going for so let's see. So the first step obviously was to measure and figure out what size cuts of wood I would need to make the doors. After measuring several times, stressing, measuring some more, it turns out I needed eight pieces cut at 14 inches, three eighths, and eight pieces cut at 26 inches. I used pine planks that were two inches wide by one inch thick, and I had them cut by the nice man that works at Home Depot. Right now, it's not really in the budget to buy a new console. Plus, caned consoles are so expensive. I absolutely hated the Calyx though, so I knew I had to do something with it. And I also knew that it would probably make a pretty good base for a hack. So I decided to go for it. So at this point, the correct thing to do is to disassemble your piece before you prime and paint it. However, I just can't be bothered. So we're not gonna do that. We're just gonna paint it directly assembled. Here I use a special shellac based primer that works really well for painting laminate. I recommend you check out my video all about painting laminate furniture if you want a more in-depth look at that. The great thing about this primer is that there's zero need to sand your furniture before you use it. I don't sand at all and the paint always goes on perfectly every time and the end results are always great. We'll also prime and paint the wood cuts before assembling them, but I just use regular water-based primer for that since it's just raw untreated wood. Now that everything is primed, painted, and dried, I can assemble the doors. I used flat two inch corner braces and some screws to attach the door frames together. I'm sure there are more professional ways to do this, but I'm not a carpenter and this seemed to work for me. Also, I skipped using any wood glue because I didn't have any on hand, but you can totally use them if you want. Got the cabinet pulls today off of Amazon. They look pretty good. Next, each door needed one panel of burlap, so I cut those out to size and staple gun them to the back of each door. Okay, so I might have overestimated how precisely these doors were meant to come together. I had accounted for an eighth of an inch gap between each door and that's not gonna work. Um, so I think the hinges are gonna have to go somewhere else. Not where I'd plan to put them, um, but I'm too far deep into this project to scrap it now. So I'm, I'm thinking I've, I've got an idea. I, I think I can make this work somehow, but we're gonna have to be a little creative with how we assemble these here doors. But before dealing with the door dilemma, I needed to actually do something else first. The Calyx is so chunky and boxy looking, so I wanted to find a way to lift it off the ground to help counter that boxiness. There was no way I could wall mount it because it's so heavy, so I wanted to see if giving it some feet to elevate it would help give it a bit of an airier feel. I got two pieces of scrap 4x4 wood that was actually free from the guys at Home Depot and attached them to the bottom of the unit with some corner braces. I had the feet cut a little short so that it would give it kind of like a floating look. Once the feet were attached, I moved back to the doors. I fixed the whole door situation by creating two pairs of doors that were attached to each other. By having them open downwards instead of sideways, it allowed me to add the hinges to the bottom so I was able to fit all four doors onto the front of the unit. I added a cabinet magnet to each pair of doors so that they would stay closed. 
and the final step was to add the poles. All in all, I'm incredibly happy with how this project turned out. Not including the cost of the actual Calyx unit itself, I spent a total of around 75 Canadian dollars to make this. Consider I did have a few supplies already, like the primers and paintbrushes and things like that. The great thing is that I can always just swap out the burlap for cane webbing in the future if I ever feel like it. If you want more info about how to paint IKEA furniture or laminate furniture, then definitely check out my other video or my blog post about it. Both are linked in the description. I'll also try to link everything that I used for this project in the description as well. If you enjoyed this, please give it a thumbs up so I know you liked it. And if you have any questions, hit me up with a comment here or on the gram. Special thanks to Ponty Pants for helping me out with this project. I'm way too uncoordinated to have been able to do it without you, so thank you.